Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to take you along with me as I prep and I organize all of my curriculum and my homeschool supplies for the upcoming homeschool year. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls, ages two, four, and 10. And I am entering my third year of homeschool, you guys. So I am so, so, so excited about this upcoming school year. However, I really need to get this homeschool room in order. So you guys, I went back to school shopping at Dollar Tree, Walmart, and Target. And I shared with you guys in a recent video all of my school supplies that I purchased for our upcoming homeschool year so if you want to check that out and see like all of the things that I have and I purchased uh, you can definitely check out that video but right now I am just going to take the time to like unpack all of my school supplies organize them and get everything all ready to go so here goes a brief shot of actually all of my homeschool supplies that I got and all the things that we just really pick up and gravitate towards in our homeschool. My daughter, you guys, she loves like these like thin markers and uh, she loves these color of the world crayons and color pencils. Um, I definitely had to stock up on those for my older daughter, Brielle. And all of the crayons are definitely for my toddlers. They still uh, are in the crayon phase and we definitely go through a lot. So I typically use these uh, cheapy dollar uh, twenty-five bins that I pick up from Target to organize all of my homeschool supplies. These bins are perfect because they fit on top of my homeschool closet like perfectly, and I can keep all of my supplies hidden and away from tiny hands <laughs> that can like get into them. So I really like this system of these small containers and how they fit on the top of my homeschooling closet. So I'm just sectioning them off for uh, color pencils glue markers so I can easily find what I'm looking for uh, when we do need to like replenish our main school supplies. Okay, you guys, a start of a homeschool year is not a start without a library book haul. So I have Art and How It Works, A Blaze Colors, The Story of the Painter Alma Thomas. I have Just Happening. I also have Henry Oswald Tanner, His Boyhood Dreams Come True. I have Gordon Parks, How a Photographer Captures Black and White America. I have a Jake Makes a World. This one looks awesome, you guys. I'm really excited about this one right here. I also have a Splash of Color. So these are all of the artist picture books that I picked up from our library, and I hope Brielle loves reading these picture books as we are going over our artist unit. Now, this picture book right here is actually for our history curriculum that we're gonna be doing. And you guys, I love this book so much. We already read it, but I'm gonna read you guys a quick passage from this picture book. And it says, under a haze, hot summer sun, many hands work together as one. The president of a new country needs a new home. So many hands work together as one. Black hands, white hands, free hands, slave hands. Slave hands dig, saw, and break stone, laying the foundation for the president's home. Rent it as property, slave hands labor, as diggers of stone, sawyers, and bricklayers. You guys, I'm so excited about this book. It sounds amazing, and I love picture books to bring history alive. So you guys, I have a thrift book haul and I had to grab some more of these history picture books and I'm so excited about all of these. I love picture books and I feel like when you have an upper elementary kid, don't stop reading picture books. I feel like that's the worst thing to do because they really uh, are great for history, especially beginner history. We are starting American history and I really wanna approach this subject in a great way for my daughter. I I want this to be memorable and I know by using a lot of picture books and literature it's definitely going to bring history alive for her. 
So you guys, now I am actually working on Brielle's homeschool cart. And at this point in the video, I kind of started to get overwhelmed because I didn't really know how I wanted to organize her cart. I do have two carts that I use. One cart um, that you're seeing with the baskets, that is the cart that I use like for my um, morning stuff and my morning supplies. So I was trying to figure out like how I was going to separate out Brielle's curriculum versus like our Bible curriculum and like my preschool curriculum and things like that. I think I did a good job with how I organized her cart, um, but I did have to take a break in between here because I kind of was like getting overwhelmed with how to like uh, put everything together. So like I said before, we are starting off our homeschool year a little bit different. We are starting off our homeschool year doing a unit study. Um, Brielle is really interested in like artists, novelists, things like that. And I definitely wanted to spend that extra time doing this interest-led learning. Instead of it being something on the back burner, I definitely wanted to put it in the forefront in our homeschool. So you guys, this is Brielle's new Bible as you guys are seeing. And I'm starting to kind of put some of the stuff on our uh, morning card. Uh, I have our hymn study and I have some of the things that I'm separating out on our morning cart. Um, both of these carts, they actually live downstairs because for the most part, you guys, we do all of Brielle's independent or she does all of her independent work upstairs in our homeschool room and downstairs is where we do like all of our um, other type of work. So um, that's typically how it's going right now. I do wanna get to the point where um, all of the girls will be able to like be in the homeschool room 24-7 uh, or as we are doing our homeschool but I know uh, they really work and they thrive better when we are downstairs like with all of their toys so that is pretty much how we use our homeschool room we use it when it's just me and Brie working together um, and then when we're doing her other subjects we're downstairs so um, these carts definitely come in handy for storing all the things that we need so a lot of you guys asked in my last video how I set up Brielle's um, portfolio for the beginning of the year. And since the binder is empty right now, I'm gonna show you everything that I have in her portfolio to get started. So I have an attendance record. I have a 2020-22 school calendar. I have my Georgia uh, Department of Education uh, Declaration of Intent. And then I have a reading log and then I house the curriculum that we're gonna be using. And the things that I store in here is primarily like like tests, quizzes, artwork, uh, things that I feel that I definitely want to uh, hold on to show like progress in her making growth within her curriculum. So I have a uh, fix it grammar, uh, IEW, I have our early American history beautiful feet, I have our heart and soul history we're going to be doing in here as well. I have heaven and earth which is our science curriculum. We're not going to do everything in this science curriculum but uh, we are going to do some. I have our artist unit, live in art live in harmonies which is our music curriculum exploring nature and worldly wise so that is everything that i have inside of my portfolio ready to go to start storing all of her work so this right here is Leia and Alana's Gentle and Classical Preschool. And what I'm doing is I'm changing out her morning binder for her morning work. So I have to make sure I get the right letters and the right uh, things to add to her binder. So this week we are gonna be working, or this unit we're gonna be working on the letter O. And um, I just have to make sure that I find um, the letter O and I put it all back into like her dry erase sleeves. They have this section on the dry erase sleeves that's called build it. So with the O, we can build it with Play-Doh and I can do like a lot of fun sensory things with that part of the um, sheet, but I typically don't do it. I really need to do better at making sure I do like those hands-on parts with this morning folder. But for the most part, we just use dry erase sheets and um, these are gonna be the things we're gonna be working on in her uh, gentle and classical preschool. Uh, the book we're supposed to be reading this unit is actually Owl Moon. And here goes a glimpse of all of the stuff we're going to be doing. It typically takes me about two weeks to complete a unit with my uh, preschoolers. I definitely want to make sure they retain all of the information that we're going to be learning, the memory statements and things like that. And I really have been enjoying a gentle and classical preschool. All right, you guys, now it is time for me to go ahead and organize uh, my section where I keep like all of our extra school supplies in the top part of my uh, drawer. Um, and yeah, this little desk area definitely needed some help. So 
<laughs> I definitely had to make sure I got this section together. This is where I keep like my oversupply of like pencils and I keep all of my pens. Um, I also keep my stapler. I keep some of um, our Expo dry erase markers, like all of like the extra things that I know we're gonna use uh, consistently. I keep them in this top drawer. Um, so uh, yeah, I definitely wanna make sure it is looking good and it's ready to go, especially as we are going to be grabbing some of the things that we need like firsthand. So um, I'm so happy that this top part of this drawer has been organized. It's so crazy how like these little things that you do that organizes really makes a difference when you're like coming into your space. And I'm so happy like I took the time to just organize this top drawer. Now you guys, the rest of the drawers at the bottom, they still need some help, but <laughs> at least this one is good. So um, thumbs up for this one right here. So you guys, I went ahead and I uh, t pulled out all of the school nest uh, notebooks that we are going to be using uh, pretty soon. I think the only one we're not going to be using is the science notebook. So I need to put that one away. Um, so now I am going to go ahead and organize all of our uh, main school supplies for the kiddos. Um, I do have like some old crayons that I typically don't throw away. What I do with my old crayons, especially ones that Brielle used, I save them for my toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> because they're gonna destroy them anyway. Um, I save these for when we're doing like uh, fun art projects, melting crayons and doing crazy stuff like that. That's what I save all of my old crayons for. So you guys don't throw out your crayons when they break or they uh, get bad, save them because you definitely can find fun ways to do art projects and things like that with them. But this basket is just primarily like our go-to basket with all of our markers and things like that. Um, I typically don't let my younger ones use the markers unless I give them. They mainly use crayons and color pencils because they lost their marker privilege. <laughs> I'm going to pop a picture in so you can see why they lost their marker privileges, but hopefully they'll gain them back. This right here is the color of the worlds for Brie when we're doing a specific thing she can come in here. And then this is Brielle's personal pencil box. Um, I like to keep all of her special items and things like that in here. So hopefully she's excited when she sees me or she sees that I organized her pencil box and I added like all of her new erasers and her fun school supplies in them as well. Okay, you guys, I am all done and my homeschool room is looking nice and good and ready to start our upcoming homeschool year. Um, you guys, I don't know about you, but a fresh, clean space always motivates me and it just makes me feel ready to go. So you guys, I'm gonna quickly show you um, Brielle's cart and how I have her first day of school sign. I cannot wait to take that picture. I always look forward to taking those every year. But how I organize her file fold is on each section I have math and then the next section I have like her ELA which is like her uh, vocabulary, um, her history notebook. I also have her um, fix it grammar and wordly wise is all in her second file fold. And then in the last file fold, you guys, I have like all of our art study that we're gonna be doing. I have our living art lessons, our living harmony lessons, exploring nature with children. Um, I have our uh, art encyclopedia. So I have like all of the enrichment things that we're gonna be doing in this last magazine file on her top rack. And hopefully uh, this organization system uh, will really, really help us out and keep us organized this upcoming homeschool year. Uh, everything 
it's looking so good and ready to go so you guys on this middle cart i have our read aloud that we're going to be doing first off which is the lemonade war i have our gather around artist unit and my teacher guide i have brielle's dictionary and i also have another one of our uh, encyclopedias which is the black history timeline encyclopedia as well that we pull out for references at the bottom i have like all of brielle's like art supplies you guys i cannot wait to see like all of the art that she's going to make this upcoming homeschool year um i am kind of nervous you guys i'm not gonna lie because i'm definitely doing something different um this interest-led learning um it's definitely uh put me out of my comfort zone but i know when i look back at this time that me and Bree spent together i know i'm gonna be so happy that i you know i was brave <laughs> and i took this risk to really just focus on all the things she is interested in uh, why homeschool if not for that so you guys um I'm going to go ahead and close you out. I hope you all have a great upcoming homeschool year. We got this. <laughs> Bye, you guys.